Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Edmond Mindaros and here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to add credit card details to Microsoft Edge. So generally from a security standpoint, you probably wouldn't want to do that. However, if you're okay with that, you just want to have your credit card information available to input into a website search fields without having to actually locate your credit card information you are welcome to do that and Microsoft Edge provide an options to do that information. Alright, so this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process guys and let's go ahead. So, ang next step ay dito lang sa ating Microsoft Edge web browser and then dito lang sa upper right side, select mo lang ang tatlong dot and then next, kaya mo lang select ang settings. Dito sa settings, yung pinakauna lang yung profile and then dito sa right side, kaya mo lang select yung payment info. And then dito sa payment info, dito na sa right side, mangingita mo dito yung add card. So, click mo lang yan. And then dito sa add card, ay pwede ka nang maglagay na credit card information mo, like card numbers, and then yung uh, card name, and then yung expiration date, yung nickname is an optional. And then pwede mo naman itong ilig dito sa Microsoft account mo. So, click mo lang itong button na to, pwede mong turn on or turn off. Alright, so dito sa billing address, Country, street, and city is an optional. So, once na-fill out mo na lahat ng uh, details, so click mo ng to save. Alright, so dito ay makikita mo kaagad na na-save na yung card details mo, and then yung expiration date. And then, kung gusto mo naman itong i-delete, so dito na sa right side, makikita mo dito yung patlong dots, so click mo lang yan, and then click mo lang itong delete. Ayan, so ganun lang po kasi eh, kung paano tayo mag-add ng credit card details sa Microsoft Edge. Alright, so please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more helpful tutorials and tips. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment below. Thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial.